Information security frameworks, what are they and why are they important? There are many different frameworks out there. I'm sure you're more familiar with the popular ones such as ISO 27001, PCI DSS, the Essential 8 controls, NIST CSF, and the CIS controls. There is a framework for nearly every industry, ranging from critical infrastructure, finance, software development, and many more. The purpose of an information security framework is to provide you with the guideline and processes to align your information security program with. They help take the guesswork out of trying to figure out which controls are best to secure your most valuable assets. They cover a range of topics such as endpoint hardening, network security, software development, risk, governance, and much more. Effectively, most frameworks consist of agreed upon industry best practices to help assist you address the most critical security risks within your business. By choosing to align to a framework, you'll have a set of best practices in your back pocket to help you manage information security throughout your business. This helps greatly as it means less time deciding how to secure your assets and instead gives you a North Star to work towards. So we've covered what an information security framework is and what you could choose from. Now comes the most common question I get, which information security framework is the right one for me? Right now, there's a lot of discourse in the MSP community around which information security framework is purpose fit for you and the clients you look after. There is no right or wrong answer. However, I've got a few tips to help you make the right decision that aligns with your business operating environment. If you're a managed service provider, you may be wondering, which information security framework should I choose? When it comes to selecting an information security framework, there are two components you need to take into consideration, your internal pressures and your external pressures. Internal pressures refer to what internal stakeholders expect from your information security program. Talk to your board, business owners and employees to understand their requirements and expectations when it comes to securing your most valuable assets in the business. This might range from broad topics such as data security to specific certification goals such as ISO 27001 or SOC 2 Type 2. External pressures can consist of the following. Client expectations, legal, contractual, and regulatory obligations due to the industry that the business operates in. An example may be that if your business is transmitting, processing, or storing credit card data, you may have to comply with PCI DSS. Your clients may also expect you to have some form of external accreditation or a level of information security in place as well. Ensure you do your due diligence and understand what is required from you in regards to implementing information security. Once you've gone ahead and understood the relevant internal and external pressures that are applicable to your information security program, you should have a pretty solid understanding of which framework you need to implement to meet those expectations. If neither of these pressures have brought forward a clear framework for you to align with, we recommend going ahead with something purpose fit such as the CIS controls or the SMB 1001. Both of these frameworks will have you implementing some solid foundations, which means that if you ever need to undergo ISO 27001 certification, you already have done the hard groundwork. 